7.30 in the morning. Yes, yeah, so? Well, you're not turning into an alky on me, are you? We do. You're my partner or my wife? All right, missus, what do you want? Vodka, gin, shops a lot, huh? Juice? Juice up the back, I think. Uh, you right? Yeah. Um, just want some rye and some brie. Uh, yeah, just up the back then, right? Down here? Oh, yeah. Guido? Hey. Yeah. Why don't we get some beers for later on? What? Cold beers in the fridge. Yeah, sure, missus. But I also know that you don't want to, all right? Just take Keep it easy and breathe. Down. It's all going to be okay. We'll figure this out and no one will get hurt, okay? Don't move. Just the best thing you can do is lower the weapon, place it on the counter and step away. Hmm? Come on. Do not move. Is there someone special in your life? Is there? Have you got a wife? A girlfriend? Because if you go through with this, you'll never see her again. You will never see her again. Do you want to put her through that? Think about it. She might just listen to her. Place the weapon on the counter and step away. That's it, mate. Place the weapon on the counter and step away. Put the gun on the counter. That's the way. Gently. Come on. Gently. Nice okay, and now gently. step away. Now just move away slowly. Easy. And step move away. Move away. Move away from the gun. Step right. Away right, from right, the weapon. Right, right, right. Down on the ground! Good decision, mate. Jump on the phone, Kim. Alright. You got a phone? In the corner. Okay. There's no bullets. Neighbor called it in. And seen it for a couple of days, got worried. Everything was like this when you arrived? Yeah. Nothing's been touched? No. Looks like she's been laid out for a viewing. Sleeping beauty. Waiting for Prince Charming. Post-mortem lividity. Looks like she's been dead about two days. Prescription pills here. Empty just about. Christy Adams. Pan Pacific Championships, Commonwealth Games, Olympic Trials. How the hell do you go from national champion to this? Who lit the candles? Somebody loved her. Who? Pretty weird thing to do. Sometimes I'd, I'd do a bit of shopping for Christy or I'd cook her a meal but I was getting really worried because she almost never goes out and then she wasn't even answering her door. You've done the right thing. Do you know if she has any family at all? Um, her mother died last year, no father. She was really all alone. Okay. All right. Now, someone was here this morning, possibly only a few hours ago. Oh, I, I was out for most of the morning. 
Okay. Do you know if she was seeing anyone, a boyfriend? Or... I don't think so. There was this one guy, but I I'd hear him visit her sometimes, but I never actually met him. So you don't know who he is, whether or not he has a key? No. No. Southwest 101. This 101, go ahead. Southwest 101, can you attend Sydney Hospital Casualty Ward in relation to a possible attempted murder? You got more details on that? All we have is a patient and a nurse injured, one of them seriously. Come on, there must be 200 nurses, 500 patients. What are the odds? Excuse me, excuse me, let me interrupt, please. Sorry, sorry. Did you what happened? Yeah, some nutter went berserk with a length of pipe, tried to injure one of the patients. Yeah. Triage nurse got between them. Have you got a name? Uh, Rick Daniels. He was admitted last night. No, no, we mean a nurse. Triage nurse. Arena. They've taken her straight to theatre. Thanks. Arena. Arena, are you okay? Can you hear me? How bad is she? Who will we say? Okay? How bad is she? Eddie, We've got Eddie, to right them, away. Let them do their job. Have we got any witnesses? Anyone who saw? One elderly patient said she saw a man run into the fire stairs. Yeah. He had dark hair, a grey jacket or shirt or overall. She can't be sure. Right. We're still canvassing. How does somebody in this hospital get attacked? This ward's meant to be secure. How, how does that happen? Mate, I've been on the job since yesterday, OK? My replacement called in sick. Everybody's got the flu. I'm sure the patient that Irina was protecting would have seen the man. Yeah. His name's Rick Daniels. He was admitted last night. Victim in a hit-and-run accident. This room's just in there if you want to see him. This is the guy you were telling me about earlier? That's correct. Victim of a hit-and-run. Mr. Daniels, someone almost killed the woman who was trying to protect you. You must be able to remember something. I didn't get a good look at his face. Get that straight in the lab. It's surreal. And it all happened so fast. I just didn't see anything. Sorry you knew that, Eddie. I must have put up one hell of a fight. Help me up the theatre. Yeah, but I don't understand why. Why? Yeah. why Thanks. She's still in theatre. Eddie? Uh -huh. Liam, sometimes... Sometimes people get caught up in... Bad situations, not of their choosing. Real bad situations. How old are you? Me too. We deal with crims every day, all sorts. And you're just not one of them. You're young, you're smart, you've got a girlfriend. Why are you walking into a bottle shop with a gun? What's the story? Liam, you might not think of it, but we don't like sending people to jail. We want to help you, but the gun, the gun's... What makes it serious? Yeah, now we want to try and minimise this, but we need you to help us. You could start by telling us where you got the gun. The gun's the problem. The gun puts you in the big...